If you've ever watched a kid or even adult on occasion chew gum, you may have been unlucky enough to witness him stretch it from his teeth on out. It certainly wasn't a very appetizing sight or a polite gesture, but it demonstrates the very nature of the substance. What makes gum stretchable isn't such a mystery, it's just simple science. The very same ingredient that makes gum stretch is the same ingredient that makes it chewy, gum base. It's a non-nutritive, non-digestible, water-insoluble compound made up of a mixture of resin, paraffin or wax, an emulsifier, glycerol or lecithin, an elastomer, which would be an artificial rubber or natural latex, and other ingredients. The gum base alone isn't what makes gum stretch. It's actually the process of chewing that brings the product into its more pliable form. When you put a stick of gum into your mouth and start to chew, your saliva is actually pushed by your teeth into the very makeup of the gum. The molecules, which were once enmeshed because of the introduction of your saliva, now sort, sort of start to slide by one another, making it much more elastic. The te if without your teeth, the gum wouldn't stretch. Now, if you had to put a name to this property and this characteristic, it would be called viscoelasticity, meaning that there are two characteristics present in the gum at the same time, both viscosity and elasticity. Now, viscosity is a definition for substance resistance to flow. For example, corn syrup has a very high viscosity, whereas milk would have a very low viscosity. This couples with the gum's elasticity, making it more pliable. Now all of these features, its characteristics, its ingredients, and the introduction of moisture are what makes gum stretch.